All right, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to FF7 Rebirth. <clears throat> so, when we left off last night, I was trying to figure out how to get this last side quest. So, if I look at my world map, Okay, the Meridian Ocean is cut off from my camera. It's, it's being covered by my camera, but you can see everything else. So every single region has all side quests completed except for Corel. And when I checked the notice board in the Gold Saucer, it didn't have anything. So I did some research because I couldn't find the side quest. And I'm thinking that I didn't know this, but I think that the community notice board is different in every place like i thought it was the same for each region in like every town and village but i'm think it may be different so we're gonna check the community board in the dust bowl because i think the side quest is here it is okay sand and circuses so i have not done this one that this is why that one at the gold saucer did wasn't unlocking Everyone's favorite Dust Bowl asshole is throwing a party, and there's a prize up for grabs that I need to win. So I joined the festivity several times, but just couldn't hack it. We'll meet again, that's what she tried to tell me, but I guess it's you. I hope I'll meet again first, Mark. Come and find me, please. Oh my god, I cannot believe how, how, how many hours have I played in this game? 118 hours and I didn't know that every community board was unique to the town so that explains why I was missing a side quest um how do I get over there oh we're here so uh, when I was looking this up last night I was reading like, oh, you have to, you have to do all 35 side quests before the one at the gold saucer, which is the last one unlocks. But if I look at my world map and I add up all the side quests that I did, it only adds up to 34, but I couldn't find this, this one that I'm doing now. Remember me? You're the guy from Corneos. Leslie. What I don't really remember him. You look like you've been through hell. Got wind my girl might be out this way. Had to follow up. See if there was truth to it. How's Wall Market holding up? Well, you saw. After the plate fell, the trio opened the place to refugees. The town tripled in size. Man, if you thought it was lively before. Unfortunately, when Corneo pulled up stakes, he took all that Shinra money with him. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Wall Market's days are numbered. Madame M's trying to work her magic, but I don't know. Any news on Sector 7? Sector 7's still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Expressway collapsed right after the plate. Then out of the blue, the company decides it needs a new president. Seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Undercity especially. But that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up though. Clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. What happened to your girl? In case I didn't tell you, her name's Merle. After you guys left Wall Market, I started asking around. Hoped one of her friends might know something. Shouldn't have bothered. Even if they did have info, they're not dumb. They wouldn't dare blab to a former Corneo crummy. But I was able to find out she wasn't in Midgar anymore. And ever since then, I've been moving from town to town, looking for leads. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this answer again. Any news on Sector, Sector 7? Sector still a mess. Probably gonna stay that way for a while. Expressway collapsed right after the plate. Then out of the blue, the company decides it needs a new president. Seems pretty clear Shinra doesn't give a shit about Sector 7. Undercity especially. 
but that shouldn't come as a surprise. The people have stepped up, though. Clearing the rubble, helping the injured, locating the missing. Okay, nothing. So the thing is, Gus is running a special competition, and a woman is the prize. Word around the Dust Bowl is she fled here from Midgar. It's just a hunch, but I think she might be who I'm looking for. She's a prize? That's sick. Gus is a real piece of shit, to put it mildly. You do that? <laughs> Monsters did. Gus is calling it a party, but it's an excuse to see blood. Lots of it. He pits people against fiends, and his money's on the ladder. I lost. So this is where you guys come in. Join the party, win, and free that woman. Hmm. Oh, I can do that. Still a merc, aren't you? No reason not to. Oh, Nighthawk, thank you so much for True. becoming a member. Please. We've been a member for one month. <laughs> so you know, need a team of five to... Hey, Rebecca. Good evening. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Ben. I'm good. How are you? One. <sighs> and humans only, I'm afraid. <sighs> Aw. I'm counting on you. And so's the woman. If anyone can put Gus in his place, it's Walmart. It's reigning champs. What is going on? Not much. Um, I found out that last night I was missing a side quest, so I finally found it. So I'm doing that now. Hello, Rebecca. Nighthawk, hello. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in and becoming a member. Thank goodness you're streaming tonight, Rebecca. I was feeling a bit bored. Oh, yeah. This is the first real nice. meet I've had since I left Midgar. Just well, you can hang out here. Hand. The fiends they raise here command a high price. I should know. Corneo was a frequent customer. These people. They make Walmart's worst look like angels. This is the first real lead I've had since I left Midgar. Just hope it isn't a dead end. Join Gus's party. If you value your you life. seriously sign up for the party? You want something? <laughs> My dear pupils, are you familiar uh, with the phrase, the best what? lie Where is it? Here? intrudes? The trick to deceiving someone is to pad your fiction. No, I passed it. Learn to couch your lies among statements that are true, and you'll be a super swindler. What? Where was it? Confused. The details of the master this art, which I'm offering today at a special low price. My friends, I'm so proud of all the progress you've made. That devious look in your eyes tells me you're hungry for more knowledge. Perhaps it's time we move on to some more advanced lessons. The tuition is a bit steeper than before, but do not let... Alright, maybe it's on the other side. You'll make it all back and more once you become a pro. Not much has been happening today for me, but I'm okay. Well, that's good to hear. Okay, I can... What? I don't understand. I can, I can hear it. But how do I get in there? Choose to make a poll of what to play next year. Some games I think you may like. Dragon Quest uh, 11. XI. That's 11, isn't it? Octopath Travel 2, Tales of Arise, Bioshock Infinite, and Persona 3 Reload. I actually have played Bioshock Infinite. Not on stream, but I have played it. And Octopath Traveler 2, definitely one I'm interested in. I love the first one. Oh, 
strap for Gil, hun. My friend, I presume you've seen the broadcast out of Wutai. So shocking. I could scarce believe my eyes. East Battleground. Oh, this must be it. I think I have been down here before. Okay, yeah, this is it. You here to join the party? Yes, join Gus's party. Okay, so you don't need to finish all the chocobo races in order to get that um, gold saucer side quest I was looking for. I had to do this one. A solo bow for Yuffie. Kick off Gus's party in style and cement your team's place as a group not to be trifled with. Chocobos, the racing ace himself, Cloud the Knife, and Rude. Cloud the Knife? Since when has he been called that? Bring it on, jerks! Versus my personal pick of the fiercest, most ferocious fiends you have ever seen! This is it, folks. You're about to witness a brutal bloodbath of untold proportions! Let the shit hit the man! Woo! I actually never played the first one. I wonder how similar the first and second one are. Have you heard of the Tales series? Yes, I have heard of it, but I've never played any games in the Tales series. So, um, I do have a friend that's in here sometimes, Lightning Farron, and she was playing... She was playing uh, Octopath Traveler 2, and she said it's very similar to the first one. What? Aren't they weak to ice? Why does it not say... Okay, it does say weak. What else do you, do you have? No, you don't have ice. I can't use items. Okay, didn't need them anyway. 
you know, I got into a conversation with somebody the other day about Twitch, and you know, I said to them, Twitch ain't all that. Yeah, and look at their contracts and their pay. It's not good at all, right? So, uh, but you know, a few people I've talked to, like they're aware of that, and they still want to stay on Twitch because, like, they're because they're like, well, Twitch is just what people know as the place to go to stream. So they're more into it for like the, their reputation and their like their name, which I don't really think that is that's not a good enough reason for me to stay because I mean to me that's just like following everybody else. Like I don't want to just follow everybody else. Like I want to do something different. My thing about prosthesis is if it can be changed and if it can be changed, how can you be sure that what they predicted was actually going to happen? For example, I could say, Rebecca, I'm a prophet, and the prophecy says you'll play Persona 3 Reload, but you play Baldur's Gate. I could just claim my prophecy would have happened if I didn't tell you. Right. Yeah, like, prophecies are also, like, they're usually pretty vague. So they're, like, they're like always written in a way where, like, it happens, but, like, not in the way that you would expect. This individual is talking about the modding tools are better on Twitch as well as the emotes for chat. Okay, emotes are definitely the same. Mod tools, yeah, they are better on Twitch, but I mean, I think they're good enough on YouTube that it's not like, it's not like it's, YouTube is unstreamable. I'm like, if you're basing modding tools and the emotes along, you misunderstand why YouTube is better for overall long-term growth. Right. I agree. I love this song so much, my game of the year easy. I have 50 hours in Dragon Dogma 2 and 70 hours in Rise of Ronin. Rebirth is still game of the year. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I can't see I can't see another game beating, beating this game. Nice fight, Rebecca. Thank you, GC. Appreciate that. Oh my god, I have to fight. I have to fight with Aerith by herself. Okay, this is gonna, this is really gonna be tough. Because she cannot really fight is a thing. Like, that's why I don't like to play as her, because she really can't fight. Like, she's not good. Well, okay, we've got, we've got, uh, what are these called? Bombs. Okay, so, I mean, at least with these, these are ba gonna be magic based. And see, I lost that really quickly. Okay, let me check her materia, though. I have a question. Have you thought about starting a D&D &D campaign, Rebecca? Uh, no, I haven't. I've actually, I've never played D&D. &D. How does that feel like you would be good at doing a D&D &D campaign? Oh, like being a, being a dungeon master? Hmm, very interesting. Um, I don't know. I never really thought about it. been that interested in D&D. &D. Okay, I mean, her material looks pretty good. Maybe not autocast, because it's just going to be by herself. Okay, she's got barrier. Give her empowerment. Always welcome. You here to join the party? See, do, like doing anything with Aerith by herself makes me very nervous. Like any going into battle with Aerith by herself is like that makes me very nervous because she really like can't fight on her own.
Oh my god, seriously, what, I, 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 what, how? I don't, like, how? How is she supposed to do anything by herself? Like, even if I dodge, it still hits me. And D&D campaign can be, like, weekly episodes that can be streamed or recorded. Oh, my friend does something like that. She has a podcast where she's, like... But it's not... They don't do D&D. &D, they do something else. I forgot what it's called. You, like, you could be, like, the dungeon master for the D&D &D campaign. Hmm. I mean, I've never thought of that before. Magnify with Blazaga first strike and ATB boost. With this setup, she can cast Blazaga at the beginning of the fight. Mm, I don't know if she has Blazaga. I mean, she has ice, but I don't know if it's maxed out. No, this one's not maxed out. I do have an. I do have one that's maxed out. Put on elemental material and fire so you're immune to fire. What? Does that make you immune? I thought I just have... Oh, I guess it depends on the level. Okay, so this one... Okay, this one will make me immune. This one only has, because this one's level two. Oh, she has fire. Okay, but we can change that for... for strike. Deal. Your level is too low. This is why the Chocobo Bangalore accessory for tripling AP is good for boosting material that needs a lot of HP. You here to join the party? My level's too low for what? Well, the elemental I put on Aerith will make her not take any fire damage. It just won't absorb it. Go on. I forgot the August spells they mean. Oh, wait, why is she still... Materia prevent her from taking fire damage. Oh my god, Eric is literally useless. I put, I put it on her weapon. <laughs> okay, we, so we're gonna, okay, we're gonna move this. Okay, swap. Did you put it on a bangle or weapon? Yeah, I put it on her weapon. Okay, so that doesn't make any sense because I was hit, it, I, that means I was, that means I was uh, trying to attack fire enemies with fire.
Sometimes you gotta fight fire with fire, baby. That's true. Just not in this instance. Blizzard will hit all enemies with Blizzard too. Okay, I don't know if she, I don't think she had Magnify, but there's only two of them, so it's fine. Yeah, I still don't like using Aerith. Like you, so you literally had her make her immune to their attacks in order for her to be useful at all. Always welcome. Okay, wait. Actually, let me check who is who is the next person. Barrett. Challengers are always welcome. Guess you didn't need it. Nice fight, Rebecca. Thank you, DC. I could finally be a little useful. <laughs> You're always useful. Now they know who mommy is, that's right. Okay, Barret. I don't know who we're gonna face. Okay, we don't need an autocast. We are gonna give him... We're gonna take a first strike from... Aerith. What was first strike? That was a purple, wasn't it? It was purple. Okay, we don't need an autocast. We'll give him enemy skill. All right, so I, I mean, I don't know who I'm gonna face, so we'll just go in there and we'll see what kind of enemies he's looking at. You here to join the party? You're preaching to the choir. I thought it was just me, but I was like, Aerith is the worst in the party. Played her for 30 minutes and also never touched her again. Yeah, I hardly ever have her in my party. The only reason I would put her in my party is if I, like, if I was facing um, like a big enemy or a boss, and I mean healing. That's the only thing she's good at. Like, otherwise, she's just, she's useless. She cannot do anything, and, and casting spells takes too much time. Like, we can't, and it, and it costs MP, which we, you know, we run out of, so, you know, it can't always be, we can't always be casting spells. Okay, ice. We have ice. Oh, we only have, we only, we don't have a high, high level life, so. Wow, seriously? Barrett's was so easy. <laughs> it was so easy. And there you have it. But I mean, look at what we had to do for Aerith, though. You have to make her immune to the attacks in order for her to win. You know what I mean? Like, that just, I mean, 
that can that doesn't make sense to that she would be a good party member if that's the case. Okay, so for Tifa, I also don't know what we're going into. So we're gonna change this. Well, we can give her enemy skill. Okay, well, let's see who she's facing. If I need to change my materia for her, I will. I like Aerith as a character, but as a party member, she's completely useless. Like, trying to play as her is uh, a hard no. Oh, this guy must be weak to lightning. He is. Lightning, you don't have lightning. So if we have to restart, we're going to change her elemental attack to lightning. Remind me of the Adam and Eve story. Can you have free will if someone knows what you will choose? God knew Eve would take the first of life, better up to fail. You can't give people choices if you know what they're going to do. I guess uh, I guess it can be both true at the same time. Like you know what they're going to do, but they can still have freedom to choose it. Or maybe it's more like I guess it'd be more like you think you know what they're gonna do. You can swap on bridal strength for the better skill you unlock. They do the same thing, but the new one is just better. Okay, what what was that one called again? again? Okay, 
Okay, now we have cloud. You chicken? Oh, here we go. Unfettered Fury. No. Is this it? Unfettered Fury? Yeah, I think that is it. Okay, so... So now we have Cloud. Okay, but you see how everybody else, it only took me the first try? But with Aerith, I had to try several times and I had to literally make it to where she didn't take any damage. Oh, he has first strike. I don't, so, so for him, like, I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to be facing either. Okay, so we're just going to go in with him. See what kind of enemies we're looking at. You here to join the party? I'm not saying Eve didn't have the freedom to do something. The problem is presenting a choice that ends up in success or failure when you know the income, the outcome. I, I almost said income. That wouldn't make any sense. But the, but also, come to think of it, why does income mean like the amount of money you make, but outcome means like the result of the situation um but anyway yeah like i but maybe maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't a failure for maybe you know that was the plan all along Aerith is hilariously bad i have no clue what they were thinking yeah i mean i agree like you i mean i i understand you want like a healer you want somebody that can specialize in healing but like other people can heal not as well as her but they can heal and they can you know do stuff other stuff in battle she literally cannot do anything else in battle kick off gus's party in style and cement your team's place as a group not to be trifled with lay waste to gus's next party guest and continue your path to domination i didn't notice they said different things before Blast Gus's next party guest into next week and continue your path to domination. Pound Gus's next party guest into the dirt and continue your path to domination. Make mincemeat of Gus's final party guest and claim victory. Woo! Who could have expected an upset like this? Cloud the Knife's team has made it to the finals. But playtime's over. This here's the real moment of truth. Are you ready? I want to hear some noise, people! Give it up for everyone's nightmare, the Murder Machine Supreme! No challengers have ever managed to beat this fearsome fiend! Does our Merc and his crew have what it takes to be the first? What even is that? Able to claim our darling little grand prize? You're about to find out, folks! This is the moment we've been waiting for! A desert hot It was a failure. She's the reason we fell into a sin by their doctrine. The Bible constantly blames Eve for our predicament. Yes, but then again, it also taught humans a lot of things. Weak to wind. Gus has cursed Aston in the hole, an evil jester that has bathed itself in the blood of its enemies. It feeds on the souls of its opponents while drawing cards that foretell the future. Evading Soul Sucker will force it to extract energy from itself and enter a pressured state. Once its HP drops low enough and it goes berserk, it will remain pressured. Oh my god. Potion that had pressured him. Oh, my God. 
pressured for like one second. Oh my god, seriously? I should, uh, I should have put elemental wind on him. Okay, we can do it next time. Okay, how do you dock that? Like, okay, so I can't use items, but it takes too long to cure. Oh, what enemy type is this? Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen it before. I guess it's unique to the side quest. Oh, Lightning, thank you so much for the raid. How are you? Okay, let us grab Lightning's link. Lightning, how was your stream? Please go take a look at Lightning's channel, like, and subscribe. Oh, you know what? I said I was going to put wind on him. Challengers are always. How are you, Lightning and Raiders? Okay, he needs wind on here. Okay, so let, we're going to swap wind and Lightning. Um, I don't think we need, we don't really need prayer, I think, or revive, because he's, he can't revive himself. I don't really know what was going to help at this point, though, and I'm not sure... How to be oh, you know what? This is on his armor. Okay, we need to switch these. Okay, so swap here. Swap here. Hi Rebecca, my stream was good. We played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tonight. Nice, how did that go? Hope FF7 is going well. Uh at this particular point, it's not going great. <laughs> this is a very difficult side quest. I'm in the middle of well, um battle like okay, so I have to do all these battles that are just like I have to do them solo which e with each character so trying to do them solo is very difficult okay oh you know what let's maybe time material will let's put time material on him oh 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 wait 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 I got it I got it let's do enemy skill okay that's gonna be easier I think I don't know we'll try it you know what that's the good thing about video games you can just try stuff if it doesn't work you can just try again yeah i remember this part oh yeah oh my god okay lightning that battle with Aerith by herself oh my god you should have seen my face i was so mad like i i don't like playing as Aerith. she's like useless as a party member she cannot fight anything Whoa! 
Okay, what do you have? Help me, Bahamut. The solo Eric one was a pain. Right. She definitely needs a team around her. Seriously, like, I was everybody else's battle except for this one because this one, well, this one's just a lot harder than everybody else's, so it's not really a fair comparison. But everybody else, I was able to do their battle on the first tie. Oh my god. Okay, this one took me a few more tries because that enemy was really hard. But everybody else did it on the first try except for Aerith. And I literally had to make her immune to fire damage. Like you literally had to make it so that she can't take any damage or else she was going to die. Like that that does not say she's a good party member. Making them fight by themselves, that reveals a lot about them as a party member. Barrett actually was the easiest. Oh, His was the easiest man. battle. Way to give the people a show. Gotta say, never thought my little baby would get so thoroughly crushed. Damn it! Do you have any idea how much kill I spent on that thing? You inconsiderate son of a bitch! Oh, well, that's rude. Uh, it's done. It's all good. Gotta look to the future. Our future. What do you say? We'd make one hell of a team. 
You can clean up at the fights and the races. Come on, no you wanna. No. <laughs> Don't do me like that. I'll throw in some perks on top. That should sweeten the deal, right? Where's the girl? Oh, so you really were after our little prize. You, sir, are a dirty dog. Well, you're welcome to it. You earned it. Just as a little show of good faith. Go on, don't be shy. And then maybe think over that deal. Pretty please. Hey. Huh? Hello. Where did you come from, beautiful? You looking to get in good with the dust man? Oh. Don't ever pull this crap again. You offer any more people as prizes, they'll have to scrape you off my shoe. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Loveliest of ladies? Yeah, that one birth one air with air sucks. Seriously. You would think an ancient would be stronger, but Aerith is the weakest party member. Everyone feels almost superhuman, both Aerith. I feel like I'm a random flower girl swimming in your stuff. <laughs> right. She is magical, though. She is, but I still feel like that's a, a limitation because it, ca it so takes more time. So it takes more time to cast spells, right, than it does to attack. And plus she's limited to her amount of MP, whereas physical attacks, you have no limit on those. You don't run out of those. Rebecca activated her bloodthirsty ability. You just went angry twitch mode. <laughs> yeah, I, I should use that as my motivation. If if I if I need to get angry, if I need to hulk out, I'll just think about twitch. GG, thank you, Nighthawk. GG, thank you, Chase. Imagine if your elemental material was too low. I don't know how you win without immunity to fire. Right, and that that doesn't that say a lot about Aerith as a party member? Like she literally cannot win unless you make it so that she doesn't take damage did tifa just kick that man in the lucky charms <laughs> okay tifa yes yes she did different girl what was just a random tourist from midgar no oh. fell for a scam at the saucer and ended up down here i sent her back up Make sure she's safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll find her eventually. I'm sure of it. Anyway, what's next for you and the others? We're looking for something too. Need to find it ASAP. <laughs> Funny. Always the same story with us. Good luck to you. Thanks. And you. <laughs> I mean, I just happened to get lucky in that I had an elemental materia that was strong enough that would make her immune to fire. Okay, so... I think we gotta change some materia now, so he needs to I'm gonna take enemy skill up him. Cause he's he's pretty pow he's powerful enough without enemy skill. Give that to somebody else. Um the so his elemental with wind that can stay. That's fine. Okay, so now she can have auto cast back. She should have, I think, time materia. Give her time materia. Mm. 
The red hell also has time materia. And he has healing, of course. Everybody has to have healing. I make everybody have healing. I only have one gravity materia. Let's switch this. We'll put... put mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. Warding's not the right one. Uh, I guess you can have magnify. Oh, nobody has enemy skill. Okay, but I think I'm using Yuffie and Tifa, I think. to Yuffie. So since you only have 118 hours in this game, can you compare it to FF16, a recent FF? What does this do better to you or worse? Um, so... I I mean, I can't think of anything that's better in FF16. FF okay, see, FF16 wasn't like a bad game, but it was it was it was just like okay, it was definitely just like middle of the road Final Fantasy. But even for a Final Fantasy that wasn't that good, like it's still for co compared to like a normal game, it's a really good game. But for a Final Fantasy, uh, it's not that good. It's like definitely middle of the road. And this game is like really, really, really good. Like, you know, like top, top. I don't know if I was, I, I don't know if I'd say three. I don't know if I'd say top three, like top five. Okay, so eight out of nine side quests. Okay, so this this one should unlock now. I've only got one. Welcome one and all to the gold saucer. So there should be somebody here in the lobby that oh there he is. Okay. What a coincidence meeting you here! Okay, it's now we finally I was looking for the relax. side quest. You're that Shinra paper pusher. You know it! So, you're into dancing? There's nothing more freeing! After years of slaving away for the company, this white-collar worker has finally learned how to let loose and have fun! <laughs> After I put in for a leave of absence, I bid farewell to Costa del Sol and made my way to this golden paradise of delights! <laughs> I've been trying out all the attractions to help clear my mind. And before I knew it, I'd somehow racked up more high scores than I could count. Can you believe it? Now everyone's calling me the ultimate party animal. <laughs> That's certainly not a title I ever imagined earning. Speaking of, there's a campaign called the Ultimate Party Animal Challenge that's scheduled to start quite soon. The goal is to try and beat the high scores yours truly set on all the attractions. Oh my god, really? Part of the reason we're dancing here now so is to the quest is the to event. beat all his high scores. You're more than welcome to get in on the fun. I've got high hopes for you, so don't let me down! Oh my god, what? <laughs> is he can just call Moogles to fly him away? Top five. Well, what is your top FF? And man, FF sixteen isn't better at one aspect. No, I don't. I don't think like so. No. I mean, but they are also. It's also hard to compare because they're 
also very different games because of, so they're they're also different in like the audiences that they were created for because this game clearly was created for fans of the original final fantasy 7 and ff16 was created for new players to final fantasy Oh, so he, okay, so he has his own challenges. Okay, all right, well, before we start that, I'm going to take a break, and I will be right back.
Alright, so... I am not feeling good about this side quest because I just feel like it was, it's like really, I don't know. Were, like, were they running out of ideas by now? Like, cause this is just doing all of the stuff at the gold saucer again, but like harder. And you have to like beat this guy's scores on everything. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the side quest. Cause it's just like doing some of the same stuff. Welcome back, thank you, Lightning. Okay, we usually choose Pico because I usually win with Pico. He's got that speed burst ability that I really like. So do we is there a time we have to beat or do oh we just have to beat him oh it's just me and him what what is his chocobo wearing the lyrics of this song it's like a like a heavy metal song about chocobos What? What just happened to me? 
Oh my god. Really, I was doing so good. song was in FF13 too. Really? I didn't play that one. Or a version that's extremely similar. Oh my god, that's so funny. I don't say this often in an FF game, but I can't stand this song. <laughs> GG, thank you, Lightning. It is, it's definitely very unusual. The first challenge. You've taken your first step toward becoming a true party animal. Keep making the most of your time here at the Gold Saucer until you too reach my lofty heights. What? So how did this guy just get Moogles to just fly him around? You can now ride a mecha coat chocobo in the races? Oh, that's okay. That's what he was riding. I was like, what is, I was like, what is he, what chocobo, or I was like, what is this chocobo wearing? But I guess it wasn't wearing anything, it was a, it was like a mecha chocobo. Well, I guess it was wearing, so I don't know, was that like a robot chocobo? Or was it like a chocobo wearing like, I don't know, I'll have to check it out. GG, thank you, Nighthawk. Today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. I knew you'd answer the call. Without further ado, let's see if you can top the high scores set by the Just be 64. Thank you so much for subscribing. Party animal. Mecha Chocobo, right? Okay, but seriously, how badass would that look riding that around in like the different regions? Riding a mecha chocobo. Okay, fifty thousand points. I forgot how to play this. Oh, Nighthawk, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Oh, Lightning, you got the membership. Congratulations on your membership. Oh, it's square to shoot. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Probably should have kept an eye on my health. You need 50,000 points to beat him? Okay, so doing a barrel roll and using one of those bombs uses up your energy. This is like Star Fox. God, what? I don't understand how... Mm, oh, I guess I should have done more barrel rolls. This is like too much to keep up with because like you have to keep an eye on your health and then you have to like do the proton bombs and then you have to like shoot i mean how what okay like i've played star fox like i don't how did i do this in star fox well you know what i didn't i didn't have like limited like barrel rolls in that game Okay, we're just gonna... it'll take some practice. Okay, so... Okay, so Proton Bomb uses one energy.
not dead yet. What, GC? Thank you so much for the $100. Thank you so much for the super chat. I can't get the target. Like, it has to be on the tail, but I can't get to it. Bravo! You dealt a heavy blow to the enemy. I'm gonna be busy on Sunday, so I want to say congratulations on becoming a full partner. Thank you so much, Cheesy. I really appreciate that. Hi Rebecca, what game are you playing? Hey Zing, this is a mini game in the gold saucer. It's called uh I forgot. I mean it's not called I forgot, but I forgot what the name of this is called. So this is part of a side quest that I am I'm doing where I have to beat this guy's high scores. On what what am I shooting at? What? Like, what am I shooting at? I mean, is it just me or is it is this like, am I supposed to be shooting at something that's not showing me? Okay, let's, re let's restart this. I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Ben, thank you so much for the dollar. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the dollar in the super chat. Yeah, 
Yeah, lightning, I definitely think that was not supposed to happen. It, I mean, it kept showing me a life bar, but there was nothing to shoot at. Kill all of those. your proof if it you know take a t little bit of time and initiative you'll get to where you want to be in life and streaming and content career where i think you succeed in becoming partner well i really appreciate that then yeah and that's i mean that is definitely something i try to express to people because i i had no skills when i started youtube like i i never edited anything before I didn't have like photo or editing skills, like I didn't know about the strategies to like write titles and descriptions and stuff. Or about like algorithms or anything like that. Yeah, this is what was supposed to happen before. good at the end of the side quest. There are very few side quests that I haven't liked in this game. This is one of them. Uh, 
I mean, I really just don't think it's a fun time to, like, when all you're doing is you're just trying to beat his high score, when these are all games you've done before. So essentially, like, they're just making you play on hard mode. Another healing. I, must have, I meant to press triangle. sure with enough practice I'll be able to do this. get partner on YouTube then anyone can get partner on YouTube and by the way Twitch is just being lazy and unproductive you're better off becoming a YouTube partner than Twitch right this, that's definitely something that I I agree with and I try I've tried to express this to people but people still I mean and it's not I, I mean I don't think that like some you know some for some people Twitch does work but I think in, in general, it is not the best choice for most people. And most people, like most streamers on my level, are just like streaming and they're not even trying, like it's not even that they don't want to move to YouTube for streaming, it's that they like don't even, they aren't even like doing anything on YouTube at all. Twitch is a good way to lose in advancing your career as a streamer and content creator. I mean, I think that only trying to do Twitch is not a good idea. Like, most people are only doing Twitch. 
like that are streamers on like of my size. I don't find streamers of my size. I don't find them generally that are on Twitch. Usually they are not doing anything on like YouTube or TikTok or anything. Okay, that, I mean, that one, I don't really get how you're supposed to even, like, I mean, th they don't show you the tail. Like, they don't even show it to you.
27,000. Oh. So you have, okay, so it's, but it adds up. Okay, 40,000. Okay, actually, I didn't get, I, I wasn't too far behind. Yeah, most of the streamers that are on Twitch are reacting to videos and breaking DMCA and copyright protect the music and TV shows on stream. And if you try to watch like a TV show like Survivor on stream on YouTube, your stream will get taken down for policy violations, right? Yeah, and YouTube is also definitely more strict on like, um, like swearing and things like that. Like YouTube is definitely more family friendly, which is another reason why I think people don't want to be on Twitch. But I mean, like, you, you know, like streaming on YouTube, yeah, it's like, it's not for everyone. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. But I think in general, YouTube is the better place. Oh my god. I kept I kept doing healing when I tr was trying to press triangle for the proton bombs. Got to find another 10k, right? <laughs> I mean, that was but that was not as far behind as I thought I was. Did you do this quest, Lightning? So I kept, I kept pressing circle and was like, why are my bombs not going off? Because circle is healed. Oh my god, I, pr I did it again. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to that. I don't think I did the challenges with this Shinra guy. I guess I missed it. Yeah, it's, well, it's hard to find because like it doesn't unlock unless you've done every other side quest first, I guess. Like, he, he just won't be there. Like, it just won't be available unless you've done every other side quest from what I read. Hello, Rebecca and C, Lightning Farron and everyone. Hey, Angel One, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. doing 100% for hard mode. Oh, nice.
There's a huge problem in fighting these guys, and it's that the the last target on their tail, like it's it's very hard to shoot. It's like right, see, like right now their tails are not even showing. YouTube, why do you think you can get away with being on Twitch? That's just unfair and not right. And the thing is that Twitch does not have copyright detection like YouTube does. Yeah. But YouTube copyright detection, like, it's... It doesn't really help that much either, actually, because it, like, it'll tell me that I have... It'll, it'll tell me, like, other videos have the same content as I do, and it's... But all it means is, like, somebody else is playing the same game. kind of score I got then. I, mean, I, got a, I did a little better. No. Okay, performance bonus. Maybe that's... Okay. Yeah, this is, like, really hard. I definitely think this is one of the worst side quests. No other enemy contact detected. Prepare for the next wave.
Uh-oh, those were still hitting me? Howdy, hello Ted, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Okay, I'm already at 21,000. I don't, okay, I don't remember. Is that, is that more than what I usually get? I have no idea. I think I got, I don't think I got that much more than what I have been getting. Oh my god. Performance bonus was like way better though. Okay. I am getting better though, I think. I think so. I think so. I don't know. Sometimes, see, sometimes it's hard to tell when you're getting better at something because you don't really think about it after a while. It's, it's become, it's like muscle memory. But you just have to, you have to like practice something a lot so you don't like recognize that you're doing better. Cause you just like, it just connects in your brain and you're not thinking about it. Sixty-seven hundred and more. Some progress, yes. That is true. It, it has been some progress. A little bit.
Okay, so for these guys, I think there's a certain amount of time that passes, like certain amount of things that have to happen before they even show you the tail. Because it's been the same thing every time. How did I do that then? Oh my god. Oh my god. Two hour mark. Oh my god. And I'm still doing side quests. Rebecca. Okay, okay. Rebecca, you do not give up. You do not give up, Rebecca. Okay, Rebecca, you can do this. You're a person that never gives up. You never, never give up. Never surrender. From one of the greatest movies of all time, Galaxy Quest. Never give up. Never surrender.
12 likes so far. Thank you so much, everybody, for the 12 likes. Really appreciate that. Oh, it's still alive. Damn it. Yeah, like I can't aim at their tail. Oh, these are worth more. made it. Have you played this before? I just ask. Wow. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my God. Um, this mini game, I, play I played it when I first came to the Gold Saucer. The FF7 Rebirth, I haven't played it before. This mini game, I've played it like a couple of times before, but it was never this hard. Great work. Keep it 
So you can okay, you can finish those guys a lot quicker. All right, I need to be better at that then. I can still shoot after that. Oh my god, it's 60,000. Okay, see, it was taking out those dragon ships. It was taking out those dragon ships. That's what you have to do. Okay, you you have to take those dragon ships out quick. I thought that I had to get to like a certain Congrats point. on clearing the second challenge. You've now earned the title of Typical party animal. Typical party animal, really? But I'm sure you'll continue to rise through the ranks. So don't lose that party spirit. Oh my god. GG, thank you for the GGs. I I need I need a mental break after that. Many formidable fiends stand in our way, but we mustn't waver in the face of danger. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't I can't I can't take any more of this side quest. I can't do it. Battle square. Okay. If the, I mean if this is just a battle, okay, I'm gonna be I can handle that. I can handle that, okay. 
A typical party animal. We're talking to the MC, okay? Are we healed? We are healed. Love it. Level three limit break. Oh, there's only one. Okay, there's only one way over there. Aerith. Aerith, my favorite useless party member. Okay, what is this? Kitty Cannonade. Oh, we don't have... Oh my god! Since... Okay, since Kate Sith left, now they're just question marks on his name. Oh my god, they completely erased him. Wow. That is... That's pretty harsh. I mean, I know he... He didn't, uh... He didn't exactly... He wasn't exactly a good friend to us. So we want to get to here. Lifeblood cannon. So... Okay, well, we- I think we were going this way. Okay, so, well, the next- okay, so I, if I get to S- If I get to 20 SP, I can get it. Hello, everyone! Tactic, hello! How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Okay, before I do this one, first of all, I need to give my- my hands a break because I was pressing- pressing so hard during the Chocobo race and- in the speed square. Whatever that- I forgot what that game was called in Speed Score. Okay, so I need to give my hand a little break and I also need to get another drink, so I will be right back.
Okay, so listen. <laughs> listen, this is how much my hand hurts. I was trying to I was trying to open this bottle of Gatorade. I couldn't even open it. I mean I got well I got it eventually. I got it open eventually because you can see some of it's gone. I got it open eventually, but it was difficult. <laughs> But I did it because we do not give up on this channel. Once you commit, you cannot quit. Never give up, never surrender. Welcome back. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I am ready. I'm back with a vengeance. We've recovered. We've recovered from that mental stress. There he is! But does he have what it takes to overcome the series of battles designed by the ultimate party animal? A series of three-person bouts in which you pick your team. Participate in a rollicking combat spectacle designed by an overzealous Shinra middle manager who stayed up all night organizing it. Wow, what a description. I can definitely appreciate that. Welcome back, Rebecca. Thank you, Tedrick. Question, Rebecca MC. Have you and Lightning Theron ever considered the idea of doing a collab in the future? Uh, we have not. We have not, but I would love that. I mean, the the real question though is, how does how does lightning feel about me? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, this one's pressured. Okay, okay, okay. Focus. Oh my god. What? How did Tifa? for becoming a member. I really appreciate that. Oh my god. Gotta be careful. Come on. Might be 
something we can do in the future. I would love that lightning. Okay, I'm wondering if maybe Barrett is, would be better for this because he can go, he can attack from long distance. God. Okay, I guess we can't just retry. Tell me, which way is it to Wu Tai? You got this. I hope so. These, uh, yeah, these challenges are very, hard, very hard. Of course, and of course, this would be the last side quest. Like you would think that they were like, they would be like, oh, they've been doing so many side quests. We won't make the last one so hard. Nope. <laughs> Does anybody have... Does anybody have barrier? Watch yourself. I'm your one stop shot right now. Yes. What you gonna do about this? <laughs> 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 ATV yet. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Like Bahamut's a dog. I guess summons are kind of like our dogs. Like we just call them to attack. Here it comes. 
Oh my god. First time I beat those guys. <laughs> Great. How did that happen? You're in good hands now.
Oh my god, I don't know how I'm supposed to beat any of this. Right now, laughing at me. If, wait. Oh, so you have to. Okay, if you lose one, you have to start from the beginning. Alright, I'm thinking maybe Barrett. Let's try Barrett. You're getting there. But you haven't truly embraced your party spirit yet. Let loose it. I think we'll put Barrett in instead of. Instead of uh, Yuffie. Okay, so Magnify is going to be good for those Tonberries because there's so many of them. Yeah, those Tonberries are really annoying. Hmm, Strength up. I don't think we want Strength up. Let me give him... Oh, Tifa has first strike. The other first strike. Cloud has one, Tifa has the other. Okay. Mm, I don't want to take it away from Tifa. I'll give him enemy skill. so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate that. Oh, and you became a VIP member. Thank you so much for the VIP membership. I really appreciate that. Okay, so... Um... I'm also going to give Cloud... This sword. 
And we are going to... Okay, yeah, so he is... Okay, so this is... This will prevent him... From dying one time. Okay, what about you? Okay, let me see their weapon skills. Oh, hers are good. Have fun! I'll teach you not to underestimate the hidden talents of a middle manager. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna try. We're. I. I have a feeling uh, this uh, side quest is going to take up the rest of the stream. Lovely night, Bloodthirsty. Thank you so much. We see you too. Sorry, should have paid more attention. Okay, um, this is even worse with Barrett. Yeah. <laughs> 
God. Yeah, this is like even worse with Barret. Okay. All right, I'm going to look up some strategies. For this. Okay, and uh, episode rebirth, ultimate party animal. Okay, let me see if there's some strategies I can do on this. Okay, so this guide really didn't give you any strategies. It's just like, well, just bring the people you're best with and just beat them. So we like I'm really not finding anything helpful other than just like just beat them. Okay. Um Let me think about this. So I was so sure you'd do better than that, but what a shame. Don't give up, though. Practice more and try again. Come and get your spectator tickets for the Musclehead Coliseum! What? Okay, maybe maybe I should try to I don't know. Maybe I can I should take Aerith. Wow, Red's magic is actually really good. His magic is almost as high as Aerith's. He's the second highest. Oh no, that's his magic defense. But actually his magic is really good too. Okay, we're gonna try Aerith instead of Tifa.
Okay, let me see what kind of a weapon abilities this one has. Oh, increases HP for recovery by 10% when healing party members. Hi, 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 it's Livy. Hello. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. I think we'll go with this weapon. No, that won't help her. Uh, I really don't know. I don't know. I'm at, I'm at a loss for this one. I and I'm that that usually does not happen. I'm I'm not usually at a loss for anything. I need auto cast on this. Okay, instead of spirit, we're gonna give for her time. I think that's what I took out of her. Time materia. No, she has it. Okay, what wait, what did I just take from her? Empowerment? Okay, she can have enemy skill, I guess. Oh, ready to take me on? Okay, well, well let's see how this goes. <sighs> okay, like, uh, but I just, I really, I don't understand. I don't understand how I'm supposed to beat this. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I should have given Tifa the first strike to somebody. God, are you serious? Are you serious right now? As soon as I tried to heal Aerith, of course, she died. Oh my God. I mean, that, that didn't work at all. No, Aerith, I know, but she, like, I don't under, like, she dies so fast any, anywhere. Okay. <laughs> let me look. Let me look to see if there's any strategies I can use.
Okay, let me look at their equipment. I'm not called the ultimate party animal for nothing. I'll be here if you want a rematch. I don't understand. Who designed the side quest? Because it's, it is not good. Ooh, fills one ATB charge at the start of battle. Okay, that's really good. But since the Tonberries, they use so many status ailments on you. And then they have that instant death move, so I think she should have a safety bit. And Barrett can use the Choco King. Choco King's cape. Oh, Barrett didn't have a... a, mat a materia? Oh my god. to underestimate the hidden talents of a middle manager okay i don't i don't know who designed this side quest but I, like i don't i don't know why they thought anybody would be able to beat this I mean, if I have, to, I have to win this thing with, like, a crazy amount of, like, I have to summon, I have to use, like, constant, like, limit breaks, and, I mean, this is, this is, like, literally insane. Oh my god. 
god. Yay. Yes, I got through that one, but I don't think I'm gonna get through the next one.
You're out of luck. Okay, I, yeah, I really don't understand how to beat this. Oh my god, okay. Alright, let me, let me do some more research on this. I guess, I guess Barrett didn't have the safety bit. I was so sure you'd do better than that, but what a shame. This synergy. Yes, Synergy. Don't worry too much, Rebecca. I'm see you'll get this eventually. <laughs> Thank you, Ancient One. Appreciate that. No, he had the Choco King cape. Okay, he, I guess, should have safety bit. A slightly different strategy. Don't give up though. Practice all. Ready to take me on? 
Oh my, but this, okay, these, this side quest though with these challenges is literally insane. Like, I'm, I, I did not find something I didn't like about this game until now. No, that's not true. I did not like the, I don't think they should have a timer on dialogue choices. That's the only thing, that was my only criticism though, until this quest. God, yeah, like I don't watch this isn't working at all Okay, so... so I don't You're know if my... But you haven't truly embraced your... I don't know if my quake materia is very leveled up. Wait, who has synergy? Barret? I don't have Quagga yet. I only have Quakira. Party spirit again. I'll teach you not to underestimate the hidden talents of a middle manager. Go on! Sorry about that. 
not healed. Okay, I'm gonna have to look up some strategies for this because like everything is just everything I've been looking at has just been like I'm not called the just beat them. party animal for nothing. I'll be here. Okay, so I'm gonna remove that. her magnify this looks very hard it is it is like I don't know who designed this but like I don't know why this was allowed What else can we give you? Mm, allows you to recover HP when unleashing attack of this linked materials type. Hmm. likes thank you so much everyone for the 14 likes
Really? Oh my god. I'll take care of the rest. Oh my god, does she not have prayer or pray? Hey Casey, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. So we cannot get past this Tonberry round. I have I I don't think I have ever been under so much stress in this game until now. is good for groups groups of enemies right. 
Oh my god. Okay, we got past <laughs> past round two for the first time. For the first time we were past round two. But I really don't have much hope for the next three rounds. Oh my god. Who is this? Ember Zoo. An avian creature that secretes a flammable liquid. It sprays a substance into the breeze and ignites it with a flick of its talons to create a whirlwind of fire. GG, thank you. Thank you guys so much for the GGs. Weak to ice. Exploiting its elemental weakness will pressure it. Aerith have. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. This one's for you! <laughs> One more shot! Yes, Shiva. Okay, well, you Shiva. Since this thing is weak to you. ice. way easier than those 10 ton berries. Seriously, though. They, and it gets pressured way easier. But I'm okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. 
the, the, the gigantors and the cat, the, not the cactus, uh, the tonberries, they were a complete nightmare, complete nightmare. Okay, listen, that when they do status ailments and like, di like status ailments and like instant death, that is the literally the worst. Uh, oh my God. Okay, weak to win, weak to ice. All right, um, okay. Okay, and this thing was weak to ice, yeah. GG, <laughs> thank you so much. to heal him. Still up for Yeah, I'm not gonna get past this one. Gotta be careful. Any last words? This is game over, huh? Okay, so I mean, at least we made it to the fourth round. Okay. 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 Right. I'm going to try one more time. Darn, that's tough. Right. Like, I mean, I I don't think I have I've never done anything in this game that has been this hard. Yeah. 
Oh my god, how did I die that time? Okay, so first, I think, well, you know what? I was gonna put Frey on Aerith, but she won't even, I don't even think she'll have enough time to do... Because Prey requires two ATB, so I don't think Aerith is even gonna have time to cast Prey, because she's gonna be doing the rest of the healing. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, oh my... Really? Oh my god. I was so sure you'd do better than that, but what a shame. Maybe we'll finish this after after the end of the game because I mean, I'm at a loss. Okay, Fire and Ice finally got that maxed out. He's, the, he's had this material since almost the beginning of the game. Don't give up though. Practice more and try again. Okay, um, I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna think about if I, I just, if I wanna just do it until, wait until after the end of the game to do it because, like, this is just not happening right now. Okay, I'm gonna save there. I'm gonna save over this one. Piece of the gold saucer. All right, is there anything else that I can do in the meantime? I guess the only thing left is the queen's blood. Although I guess I could I could also try whatever whatever else he has. I don't know what else what other high scores I have to beat with him. One thing I might suggest is reset your folio, folio abilities thing and try to go after the stronger limit breaks. Oh, that's a good idea. Especially with Aerith's limit break, because her her level 3 limit break, it's like, I think it's like, um, she fills, she fills the other people's limit breaks. Is anyone here bold enough to try and beat my unprecedented high score? Challengers, step forward! Oh, it's this this mini game. Okay, is this is this the only other one? So I think it's just this. I think it's just this and and the battle. Okay. Ready to take me okay. On? Well, let's try. Let's try to beat this one instead for now. Oh, I guess you have to go up to the spike. So we have to get 3,200. What? That's only... No, 32,000. That's only... That's only a thousand more than the last high score. Okay, so if I beat this high score, then I will only have the battle left. Okay, I forgot how to play this. It's been a really long time since I played this. Okay, accelerate, break guard, right attack, left attack.
so yeah, I forgot. I forgot how to play this. feel any different from when you played it last just curious because there was something about this mini game in the latest patch update oh really ah uh, honestly i don't remember but i don't what i don't remember i don't know if it's the difficulty though but i don't remember that helicopter like bombing you congrats on clearing the third challenge i hereby proclaim you a renowned party animal the people are starting to stand up and take notice but you still have a long way to go. Don't you dare slow down now. The party must go. Okay, so that, that was way easier than trying to do the battle. Okay, so all I have left to do is just, I need to beat the battle in, in the battle square. Uh, okay, I, I'm fully healed. Well, okay, so I just have to figure out a strategy for the battle. 10,000 flavors. Oh, I get it. Instead of 10,000 needles. Yeah. GG. 
Thank you for the GGs. Okay, see, I don't understand why. So, okay, see, this this is spam. This YouTuber me recommending me your stream thing. It's just like a bot or something. Because I've had, I have had different accounts with that message come in, which is really strange. It's a bot. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Okay, I'm gonna save here. We're gonna end it there. Um, I will be back tomorrow. So tomorrow will be my YouTube celebration stream. I mean, I'm still gonna play this, but it is going to be to celebrate my YouTube partner and I will be doing a giveaway of this game, physical copy. They post the same thing in mind when I played FF14 on stream. Isn't that, that, but isn't that so weird? Like, what is the purpose of that? Like, I don't understand that. I don't like get the purpose of like spamming that message in people's streams. I don't know, maybe it's like gathering data or something. But the first time, you know, you think it's like, you think it's a person. So I would like, I would say something and then, but they would like never respond, which would, which was weird. And then it would happen again and I would say something and they wouldn't respond again, which is, so that's when I was starting to be like, okay, that's kind of weird. But then a different account started coming in with that, like that same message. So I was like, okay, I was like, now, okay, now I know this is like a bot or it's spam. It, it's a bot spam, I guess. So it's both. Absolutely no idea, right? Like I, I really, but you know what? I guess, I guess that people don't really need a reason to spam and like they just troll people by sending bots out to post comments. I don't know. People are weird. Okay, let's go find somebody to raid. Okay, so tomorrow I am going to try and beat that battle. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Judging by tonight. But you know what? You know what I've learned, though? Sometimes you just need some distance. When If you can't beat something, sometimes you just need to step away for a little while. And then when you come back... So I've had this ha happen multiple times. I have not been able to beat something. It drove me crazy. And I have like stepped away for a little while and then I come back, beat it in one try. Don't, I don't think that's gonna happen here because that was like insanely hard, but maybe it'll be eas easier, you know? I don't know, we'll see. I, but I do wanna try to get the side quest done before I go do the rest of the main story because I'm so close to getting this quest done because I uh, really all I have to do left is that battle and then I'm done with the side quest and that is the last side quest I have. So we are going same is not weird how that happens like if you like just step away for a little while and then you come back and all of a sudden it's so easy but I do think there is some stuff like going on in your brain that you're not thinking about like your brain is just like connecting the dots when you're not even thinking about it. All right, let me see what I have on. I have a lumberjack, a dirty, Zalia. Uh, oh, I got PB on now, too. All right, let's go see Lumberjack Samurai. Very, very, very big supporter of this channel when I, before I got partner, even before I got the the uh, lower tier partner, he was a very big supporter of the channel. He rated me all the time so I could get my subs and my watch hours. He is playing... Uh, what is this? I think this is some sort of like Call of Duty thing or Warzone. 
I don't know. What a, what is okay, something about Rebirth Island. Okay, I've seen this on Twitter. Warzone, Rebirth Island. So I was I saw this on Twitter because everybody was posting about like, oh my god, I'm so excited for Rebirth. And I was like, I thought they were talking about this game, like FF7 Rebirth. And I was like, what? This game came out like a month ago. What do, like what do, what are we talking about? But I found out Warzone has something called Rebirth Island. Okay, so if you guys have not been with me when I've raided Lumberjack Samurai before, please go check him out. Give him a like and subscribe if you like him. All right, guys. I, tomorrow, YouTube celebration stream. I will also have um, an announcement of my... I will reveal my P.O. box address that you can send me stuff to if you would like. And I will be doing a giveaway of FF7 Rebirth physical copy on stream. So if you don't have it or if you have friends that want it and have a PS5 and are comfortable sending me their address, then have them come into the stream. They could win. All right, guys, let's go see Lumberjack Samurai. Thank you guys so much for coming in and hanging out. Lightning, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. You know that. And GC, I think you left, but thank you so much for the super chat, the $100. And Ben, I think you left as well, but thank you so much for your super chat of $1. And let's go see Lumberjack Samurai. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, right. I forgot. Use a uh, hashtag Rebecca raid for our raid message. All right, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.